everyone and welcome back it's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury on today I am going to be going over three of my favorite handbags in my collection I will be providing an update and I have seen some things that I don't like but before we get started make sure you view my past videos like share and subscribe tell a friend how much fun we have over here don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Okay, besties, I am going to start with the first handbag. You guys know how I feel about the beautiful YSL Ikari Maxi Tote. And whatever I discuss, guys, this is strictly my opinion. I don't want you guys to get discouraged. If you want to go out and purchase any three of these handbags after this video, please go and do so. How I feel you might not feel the same way after having it, okay? So just listen, and like I said, this is totally my opinion. You guys know when I first purchased this, I was in love. I still feel the same way. This is in my top five favorite handbags ever in my collection. I don't have an issue with this handbag, but I can tell you this. The thing that I dislike, and it's not the handbag, it's the price. When I first purchased this, it was $3,900. It was honestly released in May of 2022. And you guys know my birthday's in May. So this was a gift to myself. Soon after that, they went up $1,000. This handbag now is $5,000, $4,900, close to $5,000, basically over $5,000 with tax. And so that's my issue. And it's me honestly feeling sorry for those that didn't have the opportunity to catch this handbag when it was at that $4,000 price. I can see going up $200, maybe $300 for a price increase. $3,900 plus tax, I think I paid about $4,200. Now, $5,000, $5,200, $5,300 walking out with this beautiful handbag. I absolutely love it. I used it as a carry-on for the first time last year, and it was everything. But I am going to tell you this. I had an issue with the simple fact this is the pochette. This pochette can be used as a clutch. I absolutely love it. It holds so much. They could have at least put a YSL, I mean, brooch here to match the outside. They could have done something with this pochette. I just think this is just so plain. And they basically just gave us anything to say, hey, you have an inside pochette, deal with it. I'm going up. $5,000 more because I gave you this. So I honestly think they could have they could have designed this a little bit better, added more gold hardware to it. I absolutely love it like I said cuz you can hold so much. But hey, you guys know how these luxury brands are and also after some time guys, I start throwing things in my handbag and it gets lost. No, I do not want an organizer. If I want one, I will have one. I honestly think some organizers to certain bag add extra weight and I didn't want to add an organizer. But after some time, things do get cluttered. It is that type of handbag to start throwing things in. And so I do have to watch myself with that. And also that side compartment runs very, very deep, which is a plus to me. So the only issue that I do have, people always ask me for an update. I love this handbag. Like I said, it's in my top five. It's in my top three in my collection you guys know that that honestly says a lot that tells you a lot because i have still over 75 plus handbags in my collection and with this being in the top three you guys know i absolutely have to love it um i love the tote handle i love that you can convert this handbag you can also cinch it in and yes, you can use it every day. And like I said, I've used it as a carry-on. I probably wouldn't use it again because it's so delicate. And I love my on-the-go tote GM for that. So 
This is the YSL Ikari Maxi Tote. And I still will rate this a 10. It's just that price and the price increase that YSL added to this handbag was... <laughs> I don't agree with it, okay? Let's move on to handbag number two. Okay, Bessies, the next handbag we will be speaking on is the Marquita Reverse Monogram Loop GM. You guys know how everyone was raging over this handbag, and I honestly can say, I know for sure, I at least convinced 20 people plus to go in and buy this handbag. Some of you guys regretted it, and some of you guys honestly rated one of your favorite handbags in your collection, and I can tell you, I totally agree. So let's speak on this beautiful handbag. When I first unboxed, guys, I received this, I think it was like 45 days before the actual lunch date. And when I unboxed this handbag, I was so disappointed. Disappointed with this shape here. <laughs> I was disappointed with this, this shape. I, I I didn't like it. I was so upset. And then once I started putting items in, I honestly fell in love. And I was like, this is the hobo bag I have been looking for all of my life from LV. So I am still happy to have this in my collection. This is in my top three favorite handbags. And sometimes I have to make myself not use it. But you guys know how I feel about chain straps when they come with handbags. As you guys can see, I have one on as a choker. This came with the loop handbag. This chain strap is only too big to go around my neck, so I keep it on my handbag. The only thing I dislike, honestly, about this handbag is the color of leather. I would rather have black leather with this monogram guys or of course reverse monogram i am just not a huge fan of the dolphin okay i'm not a huge fan of the dolphin color that they put on here the leather that they put on here is not a big like i'm not gonna say it's not a deal breaker because you guys can see that i still purchase but i most definitely if i could change anything about this handbag is two things i would change this to black leather you see how it has the reverse monogram here? Um, I would have done more probably monogram here and reverse monogram here. Made this reverse monogram canvas, you know, the darker monogram. Or I would have just basically just made this all black. I would have wanted more reverse monogram because it only gave us just a tad bit. But hey, you know how LV rolls. So I would have changed this to black leather and I would have changed this size. I would have made this an MM size instead of a GM size, okay? So basically it's three things, okay? Let's go back over it again. I would change this to black leather. I would change this to an MM size. And I will also change, let's go inside guys, okay? I will also change this pochette, the size of this pochette. This pochette is too small to go with a GM handbag. And let me talk about it right quick. This is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. I recently did a video telling you guys about the on-the-go voyage in the, well, it's going to be a GM, just an upgraded GM, and it's coming with a pochette. It states that the iPhone 14 Pro Max will be able to fit inside of that pochette. I have the iPhone 14 Pro Max here. It should fit inside of this pochette as well. This is a GM handbag. Give us a GM pochette to go with the handbag. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? So, I just feel like this was honestly too small of a pochette. And it could have been reverse monogram. Add more reverse monogram to the handbag. Okay? Don't call it a reverse monogram handbag and only give us just a tad bit. So, with this handbag, that honestly would be the only issues that I have. Like I said, I still love it. I love that it gives me that hobo feel once I fill it up. <sighs> black leather. Black leather, of course. And the size of the handbag should have been an MM. It could have been a PM. They could have released this in an MM and a PM. And honestly, guys, I'm still loving it. And I am happy and blessed to still have this in my collection. Okay, Bessie. So I'm standing up. I want you guys to get a close view. Do you guys see what's going on here? Is it because of how much I have? And honestly, it's not even heavy. It's not heavy, but I don't like this. You know, I'm just, I'm, the magnetic closure, <laughs> it isn't, 
uh, like it is when I have things in there. It doesn't pop open, but it doesn't close very well. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? Do you guys see it? It kind of thins out the canvas here. And this chain strap is so tight. I don't know. I didn't I didn't like the look yesterday. I, I, I had I've never noticed this and I love the passy handbag. So let me know if you guys see what I'm actually talking about. You see how it makes it flat right here and it kind of pops open. I had to constantly keep doing this. That's what I had to keep doing yesterday. Okay. Maybe I have too much in there, but like I said, I have so much space left in this handbag. Okay, so do you see it? Or maybe I'm not supposed to wear it like this, but I thought the chain strap honestly goes, I, I thought it goes like that. <laughs> I thought we were able to wear this as a crossbody and be comfortable with it. Okay, so do you see? And like I said, as I'm starting to love on my collection a lot more, I'm starting to be, you know, picky about my handbags and I'm starting to notice different things. So that's the only thing that I really, really dislike. Like I said, I love the Passy handbag so much, but I, I am. I'm very, very picky on it. And I want to know if you guys are going through the same thing. Is it because I have too much in there? But do you see how it just, I don't know. I don't like it. You see? I don't know maybe i need to take some things out but that's the only thing that and i just noticed this after having it in my collection so long that was the only issue and guys see i'm five four so for you tall divas let me take this down i don't see how you have an issue with this handbag but do you guys see how uh it's standing out again right here i don't like that I don't like that. So you guys let me know. Like I said, I wanted to give you an update. I am asked about those three handbags so much. I love, love, love them. I really do. I would never sell these three handbags. But no handbag is perfect. And I honestly thought the Passy was a 10. Nothing was wrong with the Passy. So I still love having them in my collection, like I said. So guys, let me know how you feel. And if you want me to provide any more updates of any handbags in my collection, Please, please, please leave it in the comments. As always, stay safe, stay blessed. Until next video. Bye-bye.